Hi, my name is Dwayne Carruth. I am Big Dog Seatbelt Company, and I want to thank you very much for your order. This is just going to be a quick little video to show you the easiest way to put this on your dog. So the, when you get this home, put this on your dog a couple times, let them walk around the house, just kind of ease into it, let them, you know, walk around, have a snack, get some water, lay down, you know, just spend a little bit of time with it, take it back off, put it back on. That way, the first time you're not trying to put this on, you're actually going out to the car. Just let them get used to it a little bit and then you move the car into it. It doesn't take very long. Dogs are really quick when it comes to this kind of thing. So quickly I'll just show you how to do that. So this should come to your house pretty well already adjusted. I went based on the size that I got on the, the internet when you placed your order. These are all built custom. These are not made in China and then sent out. I build every one of these myself. So adjusting this thing if you need to, there is an extra tabs on each side if you need to have your dog grows a little bit, eats too much and doesn't exercise enough. There is room on there to make some adjustments. There's Velcro on the inside. What you want to do is have this adjusted so that the top and the bottom are aligned when you pull down on it. So all you got to do is size this to the dog to fit first, then make these adjustments. So if you need to open this up a little bit more, you know, pull the pull on this. Just you've probably already done this with other type seat belts before. Pull on that, pull on the front, get it where you want it, then go through and just tweak the Velcro, moving it back and forth. It's simple. You just pull that Velcro off the top slide it over and then press it back down. That's to keep this from sliding, okay? You'll also notice that there's two buckles, one on each side. That's for strength and it also keeps it balanced. So if you do walk your dog out to the car, um, it's not going to fall off to one side. This is really well balanced. I can balance on two fingers. So it's for balance, but the biggest reason I did that is for strength. You're not pulling all, all that strength on the buckles on one side, I'm actually staggering it out, out, makes it a lot stronger product. Then you'll also notice the D-ring. This is only to be used for transporting your dog in and out of the car, walking in and out of the house, quick walk, walking harness, whatever you want to use this for. Just always promise me that you will never ever leave a tether on this attached to your dog. Tethers break legs. When they're not pu being pulled, they wrap around legs during an accident or just a heartbreaking event, the dog gets that around his leg, next thing you know you got a broken leg. So never leave that on, just take it off, throw the leash on the floor, and then you're good to go. So let's put this on your dog. So just press the buttons, you'll unbuckle that. The easiest way to do this is both hands, take your left thumb, put that in this D-ring, take your right thumb, Put it over here in the OEM loop. Walk up to your dog, have your dog facing you, put this over his head. There's going to be a leg on this right hand side, reach down, pull that front leg through, okay? Once that leg is through, reach up, buckle, and that's all there is to it. You have the seatbelt on your dog, just kind of center it on your dog, make sure that everything looks good and snug, okay? On the front, I want to make sure that you can put eight fingers, so two, four on each side, through here. You don't want it any tighter than that. On the back, fairly snug, I would just recommend make sure that you can at least put one hand in there that it's not any tighter than that, okay? Once that's done, you want, you've already sized it, you're good to go. Take your dog out to your car. This is the fun part. So you will have your dog have his rear end in the center of that seat or maybe a little bit closer to the door. Have his head more pointed towards, pointed towards the middle. It'll just be a lot easier for you to reach, reach around the dog and buckle that seatbelt. So you reach up, grab the seatbelt in your vehicle, pull it, grab as much as you can, say three feet if you can get it. Take that hasp, the part that buckles into the buckle over there, put all of that seatbelt through this loop. So you just take that, loop it through here, push it down, and buckle. That's it. Grab the seat belt, put the hand, the hasp through here, push down, and buckle. So it's real simple. Just remember right thumb, left thumb, pull the foot, buckle, then you pull, 
and down through here. It's very simple to use. If you have any questions or you're struggling with any of this, email me at Dwayne at BigDogSeatBeltCompany.com. That's D-W-A-Y-N-E at BigDogSeatBeltCompany.com. I will get back to you. If you can send me some pictures of your dog wearing this, that helps me down the road when I build more of these and I try to, you know, figure out, well, I built this for that size dog. You know, how did it turn out? It really does help. So I hope you find out that this is the best seat belt that I honestly hope you never need. But you and your family, be safe. Always buckle up, including your Rover. And have a good day. Thank you very much. Goodbye. GoPro, stop recording.